Hi, this is Maria. Welcome to my craft room. Today we're making custom envelopes for your cards. So we're going to make a what I'm calling a rectangle fold and also a triangle fold. One of these requires some measurements and the other one is more of a fold as you go. Can you, can you guess which is which? Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so to make one of, let's make this one because it's easier. So this is a uh, what I'm calling a triangle fold top envelope, okay? This is a standard four and a quarter by five and a half card. So in order to determine what size to make this, we're going to measure diagonally, corner to corner. This card is seven inches. We're gonna add one inch. So we're gonna make a square that is eight by eight. Diagonal, add an inch to make this one, okay? So let's do that. Let's get this paper here because it matches this little monkey card and that's so cute. Okay, so I've already measured four and a quarter by five and a half is seven diagonally, right? So that means we need to cut this into an eight by eight square. Let's do that. Eight by eight. If you have a bigger card, it's not going to matter which size card it is, it's going to work the exact same way. Diagonal, corner to corner. Okay, I'm going to put that away. Now this one we're going to eyeball. This is the one we eyeball. So first determine do you which side do you want to be the inside and which the outside. Okay, I think I want the inside to match my card. Do we want the outside? Let's make the outside match the card. And we're going to center this like a diagonal, like a diamond, as it's facing you, okay? We're going to eyeball this to be in the center. Fold right up against your card. Do the same with the top. And now line up your corners as best as you can. Press this down. It's not going to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're going to go on the sides and we're going to do the same thing. Careful with these edges because now you've got a little folded edge there. See how it's doubled over? We'll cut those off here in a minute. Right up against the card. And make sure you're all the way to the bottom and fold the top down. Okay, now whichever piece is your bottom, you're going to fold the corner so you have a nice little straight gap right there. Okay, make sure your card goes in and out smoothly. Now we're going to cut this little corner piece and this little corner piece, we're going to cut those right off. So where I'm just cutting along my folded, folded edges there. Sometimes it's easier to see on the other side. So cut right along the fold. You don't have to do this on the bottom ones. I've just done that, but it's the top ones that matter more. Just so you can get your card in and out of there. Alright, so let's take a look at that. Looks like that. Pull this over. Now we're going to want to put some tear and tape along these edges and when you put it down it will seal that little envelope for you. I like tear and tape because it's very forgiving. You can use um, stamp and seal or stamp and seal plus. Something that's nice and strong. Okay. 
I'll just take that backing off of there. And secure that down. Make sure your car still fits in there. And you have a beautiful matching envelope. Now if you're going to mail this, just put a mailing label, a little white label, and handwrite so that you don't write over this. It's going to be hard to read. So use your little mailing labels. So that is the corner, the triangle top, okay? So whatever your diagonal is, add an inch. Now that is going to be the same principle for a little card or a bigger card. It's going to work the exact same way. Corner to quarter, add an inch, and you do the same folding technique, and you get one of these. Now, let's say you want this envelope. This one's going to require a little bit more measuring, but it works very well, and it's not very hard. And these principles will work for this little card, too. So let's get this one going. So I've got this flower paper to go with this card, and we're going to do, let's see, the measurements for this are, I'm going to have that slide this way, just like, just like this, okay? So it's going to slide in this way. So I'm going to measure across the top. This is five and a half inches. I'm going to add an inch and a quarter to this across the top. So this is five and a half. I want six and a half plus a quarter is six and three quarters across the top. So let's do that. Six and three quarters. Right there. And to determine the length, I want this number, which is four and a quarter, times two, so that's eight and a half, and then however big you want your flat to be. So we're gonna give ourselves, oh, two inches. How big is this one? Let's see. About two inches. So that is four and a quarter, times two is eight and a half, plus two inches is 10 and a half. So let's do 10 and a half here. And that is our basic shape, okay? So this way we added an inch, so you have a half inch on each side, and to give yourself an extra buffer, you throw an extra quarter inch. So you have an inch and a quarter extra, right? So that was five and a half, six and three quarters is an inch and a quarter bigger. The lengthwise, we're gonna take the length of the card, double it, and add two inches, okay? And that's gonna be the exact same for this little card. Same measurements, okay? Double and add whatever size you want your, your flap to be. All right, so now let's get to scoring. Which side do we want to be on the inside of this envelope? I think, let's put the flowers on the inside. So let's go ahead and measure. I'm gonna take half an inch on this side and we're gonna score that all the way up and down. Score the other side all the way up and down. Remember we gave ourselves a little bit of extra room there by adding the quarter, it's an inch plus a quarter bigger. Now, check your paper. If you have a pattern, pick the side that's gonna be the top of your pattern, and if you're gonna measure two inches and score, that's going to be your flat, top flat. Two inches there. I'm gonna go ahead and fold this to make my life easier. Just pressing by hand, we'll fold it, uh, we'll, we'll burnish it here in a minute. Let's go ahead and turn this around. Now this measures four and a quarter, right? We're going to take a quarter inch off of that measurement. So we're going to score at four on this other side. Take a quarter inch less than what it was. And I'll show you what that does for us. That leaves a space 
on the inside here and that's going to be where you can grab now let's make sure this still fits beautiful see when i grab it i'm going to have a place to grab because i left it that way so you're going to measure twice the size but then when you score you're going to take off a quarter inch so this is four and a quarter i scored at four not four and a quarter okay now let's burnish our little edges here as well I've already tried this with the little card and it works the same way. Quarter inch helps quite a bit. Just to make sure everything um, folds nicely and fits properly and so that you have this little finger hole there. All right, now we're gonna cut these, these rectangles here and these rectangles here at the top so this will stay. You'll see here in a minute. I'm going to cut, oops, I'm stuck to the tape. I'm going to cut this rectangle here. If you can see my folds, you're going to just follow your, your fold line all the way up to the next fold. It looks like that. Okay, let's do the other side. And we're going to do the same thing with the top rectangles as well. All the way to the fold. Whoops. And this one. Now, this is going to fold like this and like that. Now, if you find that you're overlapping, you're not cutting perfectly straight, no worries. Take yourself a miter off of this corner and this corner, but like a sliver, just a tiny hair, all the way up to this corner, okay? Like a sliver, just a tiny bit. Bigger on the bottom and all the way to the corner, and that will help it close up nicely. Let me show you. Okay, and then when you fold that, it lines up beautifully. It doesn't matter if it's on the inside, it actually looks pretty nice that way. You just don't want it overhanging. So taking off these little slivers really helps. We're going to take a little sliver off the top as well, and that will help that little fold across the top look nice also. So you're going to go this way and this way, but just a hair. You don't need a lot. All the way to the point there. And that will help it close nicely. Nope, I didn't take enough off of there. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Beautiful. That is beautiful. Okay, so let's make sure our card still fits inside of here. It fits that way beautifully and it goes in very easy. And we're going to seal that with some tear and tape. Again, I'm going to go tear and tape on this side. What's your favorite tape? Let me know in the comments. Alright, take this little piece off, put your card inside, that way if you've got a lot of dimension like I do here, it will seal properly. And there is my beautiful envelope for that one. Isn't that pretty? And it matches. Beautiful custom envelope. So there's that one. And there's that one. Now, I promised that this technique works with this one as well. So in this one in particular, my diagonal is five inches. So I would cut a six inch by six inch square and fold the sides to make this card here to make the, to make the envelope, to make this envelope 
same principles. You need a little bit of measurement, just like we did with that with this one. So you're going to need an inch and a quarter bigger. So this one is four. You're going to need five and a quarter. So that's an inch and a quarter wider. I wanted to give this one a one inch flat. So there's my one inch. Measure this way. Three inch. So that is doubled is six plus my one inch flat is seven. So this measures seven. Okay. And then you do the same process. Quart a half an inch fold on the one side. Let's go ahead and burnish this. Half inch on the other side. My one inch lid. And whatever this was minus a quarter inch is where you score this one. And that gives me that quarter inch that I stole from here. I added onto the centerpiece, right? So this was three. So that means I scored at two and three quarters, which I did. Two and three quarters. There's my extra quarter. Remove the pieces just like the bigger one. Let's go ahead and do that. But it's the exact same principle. And if you have a bigger card, you would do the same thing with the bigger card. I love making custom envelopes. It, it just adds a beautiful touch to your cards, like a finishing touch. I'm going to go ahead and miter my lid here just a little bit. And I'm going to miter my tab. Makes everything just lay down a little better. And I'm not taking much off of there, just little slivers. Fatter at the bottom and up to the point. Okay. And let's do a little test run. If you find that your edges overlap a little bit, then go ahead and do that little miter on the base as well. Okay, and that will fold up beautifully. Test your card inside just to make sure Put some tear and tape on it and you've made a custom little baby envelope. Super cute and easy. I think these, they, they're a little bit cuter, I think. They do take a little bit more measuring, but they're so pretty. If you want complete simplicity, the triangle, the triangle lids are, um, are easier to do. Let's put this inside and seal. And there is my finished little envelope. Matches my card beautifully. That one matches that card beautifully. And that one matches that card beautifully. Which one do you think is easier? The one that takes the measurements the one that is just a fold across the edges. Um, let me know in the comments what you think is easier and what you think looks prettier. I hope you like my videos. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and click that notification bell so that you are notified when I post a new video. Thanks for watching.